Hey, good morning. Welcome to Dave's DIY. Today, I wanted to officially sit down and put together the FM radio kit I've had on hand. Ooh. Yeah. Nice and stimmy first thing in the morning. So, this is for a future project. The green LEDs. Red LEDs. Some yellow LEDs. <laughs> and I've got, I'm missing two packs. And I got in touch with the seller and they said they are going to send me the other two. Which is totally fine. And they have five packs of the RGB. Bought a, a thousand kilo ohm resistors. So that ought to be a fun pro project. So... What I've got here, we're going to build this kit, and once we get through building this kit, which it looks looks kind of a nightmare already, everything's everywhere. So we'll see what we can do. If we can get through it, we'll get through it. Mm-hmm. I'm already not a fan of these instructions, but now this, I could work with that. PCB marker. See, that's useful there. Cool. So, I'm going to set this up here. And we're going to try to build this together. I've never put one of these together before. So, let's see what this has in store for us. We're going to build one of these at the end of this video as a part two to a previous antenna build because there is no way that that picks up frequency of any sort. So we'll build a new one of these. In fact, that may be the part two to this video. It depends on how this build goes. Lord have mercy. That's a really long button, isn't it? All right, so obviously none of these components are properly labeled, and that's not, hold on, I've got some pliers for that. I'll bring these here. These are my flat nose pliers. I woke up, and I just wanted to finally do this project. Wow, how about that? That's fascinating. All right, so these leads are straight. So we shall see. There are, these are 10 kilo ohm resistors. And how I can tell that at a glance is nothing to do with the rings. There's three, six, nine, 10, 11 of them. And over here, there's a R1 through R14. So only R7 is a different resistor. And R6 is a different resistor. So the rest of these are 10 kilo ohms. Let's see what we can go ahead and bring these handy hands in. Bring our soldering station, get everything kind of ready to go. Because I want to get into this project. I've been waiting on it for a while. Those of you who don't know, I use lead based solder for whatever that's worth. You don't have to like it, and you don't have to hate it. I also like these. This is a Southwire multimeter, but it's aftermarket uh, probes. Allow me to grab hold of tiny, tiny things with their grabby, grabby bits. So now, now we don't have to rely on labels. I don't trust labels. Nah, eh, that's about about 10 kilo ohms. Fit. I mean, I'm not expecting precision out of these parts. This was a cheap kit. So, we'll take our handy hands, bring them down. Had to grab the board for 
doors just to keep it in place. Don't want it going anywhere. Let's see, R14, yeah, there's R11. So here's another 10K. We know that's a 10K because it says so on the silk screen. So we can just push that right down in, pull the leads out. And we're just going to repeat this process everywhere it says 10K. Because, again, I mean, it's labeled. It's not, this is not a hard kit to build. But I, I'm always cautious because I don't ever buy but one of them. I don't buy more than one kit at a time. <clears throat> Lord, my hands are shaking a little bit. This video is going to run a bit long, so if you haven't already seen skips, then just prepare yourself for any future skips. So, I believe that's the last of the 10K resistors. Now, here's, here's the next thing. They did not properly label and package these because they expect you to, I'm sure, know how to read them so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick one of these that's a 4.7 and so I'm just gonna grab this one in front of me there is a couple of resistors this is a 200 220 yeah so this is a 220 so here's a 220 logic dictates it must go there this resistor, what is this? What shall we find out? There is no way that's a seven ohm resistor. Is it really? It's a, it says seven ohms. Is there a seven ohm? Maybe that's meant to be kilium. Are we missing resistors? It looks to me like, wow, we're missing resistors. So rather than make a big fuss over it, I just, I will grab a new resistor out of my container here. We need a 4.7. Here's a 4.7. And these are labeled, so I don't have to, I don't have to double check them. But in the spirit of not assuming, 4.69, 4.7. Wow, that's right on 4.7. Kudos. So that 4.7 can drop right in here. I may not cut this video just so you... I can see who really wants to watch all of it. I don't know. Okay, so that 50 ohm resistor is this right here. And that's going to just pop in through them holes. I'm only doing it this way because my hands shake really bad. And, you know, it is what it is. Undo my little movie reel of solder. All righty. That's all the resistors done. So let's put this over and see what we got here. So the next step is going to be the ceramic capacitors, which will be these down here.
I'm not seeing another one. Maybe that's the next one. <clears throat> so, uh, 104. That's point one microfarad, and it's C4, 5, and 6. So, C5. I wish I had my glasses, but we're going to get there. It's 104, C4. All righty. Well, I don't know when my camera cut off, but it cut off on me. So far, uh, we've got the volume, we got everything built and fixed. The only thing we're missing at this point, this antenna that they included is not long enough electrically to get any type of signal. There's just no way. And so we're going to build an antenna for this little radio. And to do that, we need to know a couple of different things. I've already done a part one. This is going to be kind of a uh, part two of antenna building. And what we need, we need a formula. We need to calculate. So what we're going to do, the formula is going to be C divided by F times 12 and then that will be equal to frequency in inches and then we're going to take frequency in I is going to equal F I excuse me I keep having hiccups we're going to multiply that by 2.54, and that equals in centimeters. Or we can do Fi equals 25.4 equals millimeters. We're going to let C equal 234. I'm just putting it in parentheses. Let F equal frequency in, wow, in megahertz. And what we need, we need to formulate, uh, let C equal, all right? So what we're going to do, we know 234 is our constant for FM radio signals. So we take 234 divided by, and I like to listen to 101.700 megahertz times 12 for inches, and then we'll multiply the answer. We'll get out the calculator. One moment. Here we take 234 divided by 101.7 times 12. And then the answer would be 2.54. That's your centimeters, so it would be 70 centimeters. Anyway, so answer in inches is 27.61 inches. All right. Now that we know how many inches we need, 27.61, we can take a ruler like so. It's a brand new ruler, so I've got to straighten it all out. Now, we take, we want a piece of wire. How that wire sliced me Anyway, um, so we'll take and we'll measure 20, this needs to be as straight as possible for the measurement, 27.61. So 
0.61 this is right in there so let's double check that length we'll come all the way back here and we'll come down and measure that 27 0.61 so cut it off right here and I'm going to bend it we're going to bend it and then cut it off here and the reason for that is because you want to have the electrical length starting from where it is above the body to below the body now we have our antenna now here you'll note it's so long it cannot fit on the camera versus this little baby antenna barely even reaches up. That's just not gonna be enough. Now, to shorten it to where it's more reasonable, you take and you wrap it going vertically, just like this. And this is now officially known as electrical length. That's whenever your antenna is electrically able to extend the distance that it's tuned for, but it is not physically the length. See? So now we have a coil, and we will bring our radio back into view. And at this point, Alrighty. Now, we have an antenna that is tuned for Y101.7, and I'm not going to use my metal grippies anymore. I'm going to use the rubber grippies. And as to juice, <clears throat> I believe it runs off of a 9 volt battery and so because I don't have a 9 volt battery I shall use my power supply as the 9 volt battery we shall turn this on Hey, how about that? Let's go all the way up to 97 or 101.7, which is what we tuned it for. At 101. Yeah, how about that? Y101. There's the antenna from here to here. And it will work. Yep. Alright. To avoid copyright, I'm going to turn it off, but there you go. That's how you build a whip antenna.